YouTube. Now, um, it's sort of come back time to take a look at this power supply in. Just because I was asked a couple of times whether I actually got it working properly. And I took a look over the old video. Which I was trying to power an LED and it was at sort of 9 volts, I think. And it was only drawing about 100 milliamp, which I decided then um, there was probably the power supply fault. But it turns out that it was probably that LED. And I decided yesterday, after seeing a comment left on my previous video about this power supply, I decided to um, just get it back on there here and, over and take another look. Before I've spoken about an issue that it has with these, this connector down here, we've got three nuts. There's one at the back behind there, let's see. So one, two, three. And now there's not one on there because I can't find one to fit it at this minute in time. Um, but when it doesn't get a very good connection here, you see the voltage on the front, but it doesn't give you all the current. It, it almost, um, almost like teases you with the power. It's got to be really well clamped here for it to get through to these terminals on here. So, hmm. So I decided yesterday to give it a go, and to my surprise and to my thrill, changing over those 840s, which I did when it first popped, has actually fixed it. So this isn't a video about how I fixed this now, it's about that it was fixed and it's just been sat on the floor on the other side of the room, waiting for me to have a bit more... Um, knowledge and come back to it. So, right, I'm going to connect it up and show you that it's working. I was going to stick a LED load on there, but I figured it might as well just get straight to this thing. No, no, I just want to show you that, um, that I haven't put a screw back there in the middle. Remember I said before about C2028, is that there? Um, Looked like it had a capacitor put in there and it's been cut out well. Because there was a link left to a schematic, I got to see that these capacitors, C37 there is not populated, nor is that one. And so I didn't know whether I'd actually lost. Um, you know, whether the, the popping side was actually a component being blasted away, but you'd have thought that you'd have found, or I would have found the component in the, in the casing. Um, but I understand that regardless of the laws of physics, things can still vaporise on this planet. Um, so yeah, and there's absolutely no change, you know, apart from those uh, those IRF 84s. I, I didn't know at one stage whether I got these two the wrong way around, but again, schematic, I hope. Just ensure I've got these in the right place. And it did have a sort of a, a noise here, but I've got a current limiting system here. And when I connected it up yesterday, I put it on the current limiter. And of course, you know, I turn it up and I start drawing power through this. Um, and the current limiter gets brighter and brighter, and the whole thing shuts down. And it did this a couple of times, and after the second time of it doing it, um, I plugged in just directly to the socket bank over there, and that noise is gone. So, anyway, let me demonstrate it. So, um, so there we go, I just start turning it up. The fan kicks in. There's no noise as such. The bulb starts to light. Build the voltage. And uh, if I put it on to I'm not sure it's the best way to see that, but I don't think you can see that. No noises. Actually, I think it's better than what it was before.
Sorry if that's flying around, that's just because of the way this light's working there. It's uh, interfering. So, it works. You get that, just a little tiny bit. You listen. That's all balance in the middle of nowhere land. As soon as it goes to a vault, it's over. But I suppose it's drawing current there as well, which is. Yeah, that's fixed. No problem. Oh, I'm quite chuffed. I'm really happy because uh, this supply comes in quite handy, especially for uh, playing around my Slayer Excited Coil, which will be the, the next time I'll probably load onto it and play around with them again. Well, I didn't want to play around with this too much, see, I didn't want to get a probe in there or anything. I've not got an isolation transformer that'll um, you know, give me the, the protection that I need for playing around in one of these with a scope. Uh, especially as I don't really know what I'm doing 100% and there uh, are lots of pitfalls, I've watched quite a few videos on that thanks to the knowledgeable guys out there on YouTube but so, uh, yeah, apart from getting that nut on there, I'll find one this all works as it should I'm really chuffed, so yeah it's working, it's going back into service on my bench I'm going to just quick so you can see the Current meeting works to eight and a half volts. Just start taking that below. There we go. It's about five volts, isn't it? So I'm going to go above fifteen five. Five and a half volts. Yay!